This is my screencast on how a particular website has changed over the years. I'm going to use Wayback Machine and type in Tide.com. So as I type in Tide.com, I can see that I have over 700 results um, dating from December of 1996 until pretty much the present day. And so the first example I want to look at is the one from December 26, 1996. As we look at this first example, we see how from our vantage point today, how basic it really looks. At the top, there's a clothesline with a telephone providing the line. And basically on this line hang various shirts with icons that connect to the rest of the content on the web page. So as you can see here, for example, there's a baby with what's new and here Tide laundry detergent bottles with products. And as we scroll down, we see the same baby and we see the same um, Tide products over here. I find the, getting back to the visual, I find that the telephone line is an interesting thing to take notice of because it's basically taking a familiar object at the time that this was published, the telephone, and putting it into an online environment. And as the reading by Dennis Barron during this unit mentioned, um, the Tide website contains content that you could probably find by reading traditional print material like promotional mailings or the side of the box. Um, and so I think one of the reasons why this website looks so dated to us today is because of the content. There's all these hyperlinks and text and it really doesn't seem like it's offering anything more than what a promotional mailing might be able to do. So as we continue, I want to move forward, we'll see how the website continues to change though and become more electronic. So I'm going to look at the next example is from March 26, 2002. And with this result, we can see that it looks much more like a website. So for instance, there's a nice clean and colorful background uh, with the Tide logo embedded in the background and the color of the background itself and the header tying in really nicely with the Tide logo and the colors that are there. When you first look at it, your eye is drawn to this um, area right here that is most looked at, but unfortunately it didn't load for us. But we can see that they're trying to use a visual in order to make it more appealing. We can also see that they have a lot of the same content. So, for example, we have articles and messages, we have products. That's the same kinds of stuff we saw with the last example. But this time, they are organized into columns and grouped by content area. So it makes clicking on those hyperlinks a little bit more manageable. And the one thing that is really interesting to take note of is on this sidebar, you can register now and become a member. And so they're trying to interact with their audience by giving them a space within the site itself. This is really the first instance of the Tide website being able to connect with customers in this way. And this is one of the things that really starts to make it much more electronic. I want to look at another example. This one is from December 15th, 2006. And we can see with this example that, again, it looks much more electronic, especially when considering the one from 10 years previous, which was from 96. So 10 years later, we see a visual which is still loading. But again, just like the previous example, it's one of the first things that you're going to notice, which really grabs people's attention. Um, and so, like the previous example, we see that there's an area for customers to interact. So here, make your space already a member. Um, but at the bottom of it, we have the same kinds of content. So products, laundry tips, special offers, those sorts of things. So this is important to note because, again, as our reading from Dennis Barron explained, communication doesn't really change. What changes is the technology or writing tools we have to get a job done. And if we look at the current day version of Tide, we can see, again, we would expect it to look like this because this is what we expect today a website to look like. Very visual again, things are organized nicely, and we can even go social, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. But the same content exists. So there's products, laundry chips, etc. So again, the communication doesn't really change. They're still trying to get out their product. It's the tools that they have that change.